it's a hot and sunny day here in Delhi and looking at my riding attire your assumption that I'm riding a motorcycle is absolutely spot on what I have here behind me is an ADV motorcycle it's one of nine motorcycles that I'm getting to see today and out of the nine I'm getting to ride five there are two names that I want you to remember Zontes and Motomarini times limited temperatures warm so let's get right to it Yes, I know I told you I'll be riding five, but at the end, I'm only going to ride two motorcycles. And to know why, watch this video till the very end. Also, our contest questions are back in association with Big Bad Bikes. So again, there's a good reason for you to watch this video till the very end because the question is going to pop up at any moment. All right then, let's begin. All right, let's talk about the first motorcycle here, the Escape 649 or people around here are calling it the Escape 649 and I don't mind it one bit. Now there is a road going version as well which obviously comes with alloys. This one right here comes with spoke trims. But when you look at the spec sheet and when you look at the number of features that are coming with this motorcycle, it is incredible. Fully adjustable fork up front. The shock has adjustability for rebound and preload. Seven-inch instrument cluster. You're getting Brembo brakes. Pirelli off-road tires. Uh, this guard that you see here is going to come standard with the motorcycle. An adjustable windscreen. And overall, in terms of the package, it is very, very appealing, isn't it? But we've always said and maintained that you don't ride a spec sheet. You ride a motorcycle, and that's what we're going to answer now. How does it feel to ride? The area that I am in, the path that I am in, does not have a lot of long straights. So, testing top end performance uh, was not a part of today's package. I could only manage uh, the first, second, and third gears around here. But the one thing that really stood out for me is how easy the power is delivered. When you look at the spec sheet, 60 HP, torque outputs also not that performance oriented. So Moto Morini obviously have been a lot conservative about power and torque output. So in terms of getting used to and getting adapted to how the motorcycle feels in terms of uh, the delivery, absolutely great, feels at home. But in terms of feel, this still has some sort of mechanical feel to it. Something that I'm not really fond of but I would really love to keep this in the sweet zone when we have it back in Pune for a full-blown review and then understand how it feels. Also, a couple of things that really stand out in terms of ergonomics. This feels like a regular adventure motorcycle and adventure motorcycles are known to have really great ergonomics. This one's no different, but I feel the seat could have been slightly softer because right now it is firm. And the one thing that really upped the experience here at this adventure park are those tires. The Pirelli Scorpion Trail tires, absolutely smashing. And in case I forgot to tell you this, those spoke trims, they're tubeless. All right, let's talk about the second ADV that we're riding today. It's the smaller one of the lot. And this one is actually coming from Zontes. It's called the 350T ADV. There's a 350T as well, which is a road going version, comes with alloys. This one comes here with spoke trims. Now, this, just like the Escape, is loaded with features. What you have here is a 5-inch instrument cluster, all digital. You've got a TPMS system. And the biggest highlight for me is going to be the keyless system that this motorcycle comes with. So all you need to do is uh, store your key in this little box here and everything else is taken care of by its own. To open the fuel cap, you've got a button. To open the seat, you've got a button. And to adjust this windscreen, you've got a button as well. So just like the other motorcycles that we're seeing today, this one also comes loaded with features. But we're here for the riding bit, aren't we? Oh 
Okay, let's talk about feel. And I think the word ease is going to be thrown around quite a lot here uh, because it is an easy motorcycle to ride. Similar to the Xcape, the power delivery is smooth. The power delivery is easier to get a hold of. And this for me is something that will attract a lot of these buyers that are looking for their first adventure motorcycle. But again, there are so many things that I'm not really fond of, especially the amount of body work that this motorcycle has. I think a lot of it could have been shaved. The motorcycle could have easily lost weight because who doesn't like a lighter motorcycle? Also, in terms of ergonomics, it's easier when you are sitting on the motorcycle, but the moment you stand up, when the roads go bad, especially for my frame, I just really couldn't find a point where I could grip the motorcycle because my knees were above the seat. Uh, nowhere close to the tank and it was really, really awkward to get a grip. Another thing that I would like to point out are these tyres. Now, when you ride a motorcycle that comes with Pirellis and you jump onto a brand like Ambro, which is relatively unheard of, the grip levels are going to be questionable and they were with the Zontes 350T ADV. Yes, the feature list is nice. Uh, yes, it is an easy motorcycle. Uh, to ride but in terms of feel this one did not connect with my heart all right time to sum this up now the reason we have only ridden two and not five because there are roadsters in their lineup and i think it is unfair to have an opinion about a roadster when you ride in an adventure park like this so that's going to be reserved for later. Also, when we talk about pricing, the pricing is not out yet. And by the time this video goes out, expect the pricing of this entire lineup to be out in another two weeks or so. But considering how Adishwar Auto has priced Binelli and Kiwi, um, and looking at the kind of features that these motorcycles are coming with, I'm not too optimistic about how the pricing is going to be in terms of it being attractive. But please prove me wrong, keeping my fingers crossed, because a lot of people actually prefer motorcycles or products with a lot of features. And this sits in that alley. For people who love motorcycles with feel, I think the best way to go about, and we always recommend this, test ride and decide. So I hope you loved this short and sweet first ride report of these two motorcycles but I promise we'll do the entire lineup once we get them for a full review back in Pune. Now time for a contest question. Uh, how many motorcycles are Zontes and Motomorini coming with? Drop your answers in the comment section below and one lucky winner stands the chance to win a gift hamper from Big Bad Bikes. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Varun Painter and I will see you later.